In this video, we shall learn the physiographic divisions of West Bengal. West Bengal is a state in the eastern part of India. It stretches from the Himalayas in the north to Bay of Bengal in the south. It lies between 85 degrees 50 minutes and 89 degrees 50 minutes east longitudes and 21 degrees 25 minutes and 27 degrees 13 minutes north latitudes. Bangladesh lies to its east, Assam, Sikkim and Bhutan to the northeast, Nepal towards northwest, Jharkhand and Bihar towards west and Odisha towards southwest. West Bengal has five administrative divisions and they are the Jalpaiguri Division, Malda Division, Burdwan Division, Medinipur Division and Presidency Division, Darjeeling, Jalpaiguri, Koch Bihar, Kalimpong and Alipurdwar comes in the Jalpaiguri Division. Then it is Uttar Dinajpur, Dakshin Dinajpur, Malda and Murshidabad comes in the Malda division. Birbhum, West Bardhaman, East Bardhaman and Hugli comes in the Burdwan division. Then it is Purulia, Bakura, Jargram, West Midnipur and East Midnipur comes in the Midnipur division. Then it is 24 South Parganas, 24 North Parganas, Kolkata, Havra and Naida comes in the Presidency division. Well, West Bengal is, is essentially a flat, featureless alluvial plain. Large portions of southern Bengal is a part of the delta of river Ganga. Merely 1% of its area is mountainous lying in the far north of the state and about 6% of the total land area are plateau border that is fringe and Purulia triangle upland along western border. On the basis of these features, West Bengal may be divided into seven physical regions. Now they are first one, the northern mountain region, second, the western plateau fringe, third, the plains, that is the northern plains and the southern plains. Fourth, it is the Tarai region. Fifth, it is Rar region. Sixth, it is the Sundarban Delta. And the seventh, the coastal fringe. Talking about the first one, the northern mountain region. Well, the northern mountain region is situated on the northwestern part of West Bengal and belong to the eastern Himalayan range. This region covers the whole of the Darjeeling district except Siliguri division and a narrow part in the northern part of Jalpaiguri district. This region consists of sedimentary and metamorphic rocks. This area suddenly increases its slope from the Tarai region. The deep gorge formed by the Tista river has divided this mountainous region into two parts. One is the western and other one is the eastern part. Now most of the highest mountain ranges are seen in the western part of the Tista river. The Singhalila and Darjeeling ranges run from north to south in the western part of this region. The Singhalila range is located along the border of Darjeeling and Nepal. It has four important peaks that is Sandakfu, Falut, Sabargram and Tonglu. 
Among the Himalayan ranges of this region, Singalila Range hosts Sandakfu, which is 3,636 meters and is the highest point of West Bengal. The eastern part of the Tista River is lower than the western part of the Tista River. The famous Kalimpong town is situated in this region. Few hills are also found in the Dwar region at the foot of the Himalayas. Some remnants of the Shivalik mountain range can be seen in the Jalpaiguri district where they are known as the Baksa Jayanti hills. This area is transformed into discontinuous hilly topography with highest rainfall. Talking about the next one and that is the western plateau fringe. Now this region is situated on the western part of West Bengal. This plateau fringe is a rolling upland with small isolated hills standing here and there. This plateau region connecting Rajmal hills of Bihar and Chhota Nagpur plateau. This region is made up of old igneous rock granite and gneiss of the Asian era as well as coal bearing mudstone and quartzite rocks of Carboniferous period. Purulia district has the highest mountain that is Ayodhya hill which is 677 meters. Because of long and continuous erosion, the whole region has been transformed into an undulating penny plain interspersed by small monadnocks, locally known as Tila. These rocky plains descend eastward to merge with the higher slopes of the alluvial plains. Talking about the plains. Plains except the northern hilly, mountainous and western plateau area, the remaining is plain area. North Bengal plain starts from the south of the Tarai region and continues up to the left bank of the Ganges. Ganga river flows from west to east and divides the plain into northern and southern parts. This plain is formed merely by alluvium of Ganga river and its branches. The narrow landmass in North Dinajpur district which is known as the Mahananda corridor runs from north to south direction and joins Maldha with the plains of Jalpaiguri and Kuch Bihar. Mahananda river divides the district of Maldha into the eastern and western parts. The eastern part is known as the Barind or the Barindra Bhumi consists of undulating plains and is made up of old alluvium which is a part of the Ganges Delta. Western part on the other hand is made up of new alluvium and in this section river Kalindi meets with the Mahananda river. The part of Maldha lying to the north of the river Kalindri is known as Tal. This is lowland and covered with swamps and beals. Whereas the area in south of the Kalindi is a very fertile land and is known as Daira. The western plain has been largely built up by the silt brought by the western tributaries of the Bhagirathi river. Southern plains lie between the Bhagirathi Hugli and the Bangladesh border. These areas are characterized by shallow lakes, marshes, river courses. Plain areas are very fertile in the view of agricultural purpose. Most of the food crops are grown in these plains. Talking about the next part and that is the Tarai region. Well, Tarai region is a belt of marshy grasslands, savannas and the forests at the base of the Himalayan ranges stretching southwards to about 38 kilometers. Now this region extends to the Siliguri division of Darjeeling district, north and eastern part of Jalpaiguri and northern part of Dinajpur. These areas are demarcated by 100 meter contour line from southern plains. The slope of the land is gentle from north to south. The highest points range about 400 to 600 meters or more. The Tarai zone is made of alternate layers of clay and sand 
with a high water level that creates many springs and wetlands. The entire region is made up of sand, gravel, pebbles laid down by the Himalayan rivers like the Tista, Torsa, Raidhak, Jaidhak, Sankosh and several other small rivulets. The Tista has divided the area into two parts. Western part is known as the Tarai, whereas the eastern part is known as the Dwars. Next region is the Rar region. It lies between the Chhota Nagpur plateau on the west and the Ganges delta on the east. This region constitutes the districts of Birbhum, Bardhaman, Bakura, Murshidabad, Medinipur. This region is believed to be created from the soil from the Deccan plateau. This region is dominated by laterite soil. Next division is the Sundarbans. The Sundarbans is a mangrove area in the delta formed by the co-influence of Ganges, Brahmaputra and Meghna rivers in the Bay of Bengal. It spans from the Hooghly River in Indian state of West Bengal to the Baleshwar River in Bangladesh. It comprises closed and open mangrove forests, agriculturally used land, mud flats and barren land and it is intersected by multiple tidal streams and channels. Four protected areas in the Sundarbans are enlisted as UNESCO World Heritage Sites that is Sundarbans National Park, Sundarbans West, Sundarbans South and Sundarbans East Wildlife Sanctuaries. This area has been created by deposition of silt by its numerous rivers that is Hooghly, Matla, Jamira, Gosaba, Saptamukhi, Haribang and the tributaries. The formation of the delta is an ongoing process and new bars, islands are being created along the rivers and at the river mouth. This region is famous for the Royal Bengal Tiger. Apart from that, it is around 64 species of birds. Then it is spotted deer, crocodiles and snakes are also seen here in plenty. It is estimated that there are now 400 Bengal tigers and about 30,000 spotted deer in this area. Then comes the coastal fringe. The coastal plain region is on the extreme south of the state. Part of the district of Purba, Medinipur along the Bay of Bengal constitutes the coastal fringe. The topography in the strip land is related to the sea. The beach at Digna in this region is a fast developing sea resort and becoming an important tourist spot. This emergent coastal plain is made up of sand and mud deposited by rivers as well as wind. Parallel to the coast are colonies of sand dunes and marshy areas. Thank you for watching.